Hey everyone, wanted to demo a new tool or a useful tool for you in Smart Notebook today. Uh, the thing I want to look at is called the Transparent View. The way you get to it is come up here to your view options, select Transparent Background. When you do that, you'll notice that your Smart Notebook uh, essentially becomes invisible. Whatever the last window you had open before you opened up Smart Notebook is now in the background. So I last had a Word document open. Now what I can do with that is interact with it just like I would a normal Smart Notebook document. Uh, so for example, I can use my pen feature here uh, and I can make notes, uh, you know, circle whatever, mark it up just like you would a regular document. Come over here to my various options. Uh, shape is a great tool for uh, this setting, I think. You can quickly draw a shape around whatever you might be trying to uh, draw some attention to. And every other tool will work just like it normally does in Smart Notebook over here. Uh, the exception being you do not have access to the Magic Pen. Uh, if you've been using that to zoom in or um, dim things. Uh, the other one I've been having trouble with is the highlighter for whatever reason uh, it doesn't get along well with transparent view even though it's on there. Uh, but the rest of these should work just fine for you. Um, the screen shade is there, the eraser is there, function normally like they, uh, like they always do. Now if I want to switch windows um, I can't simply come down here and click on my taskbar. I have to exit transparent view. It'll kick me back into Smart Notebook. I'm going to select the next thing that I want to do, then bring up Smart Notebook once more. Kind of get rid of the stuff I had here. And then move into transparent view. Alright, and now my website is the background. Um, I can function with the website just like uh, I normally could. Um, even so far as following links. So, uh, this way again I can write on the website, maybe. There we go. And it cooperates pretty much like it normally would. You notice I had a little bit of trouble there. Sometimes, um, the program can be a little bit stubborn. Overall, I've had pretty good success with it. Um, it generally does everything that I needed to. Uh, a little more advantageous than switching your view from uh, your computer to your uh, analog mode, just because you don't have to worry about that kind of switching back and forth. And you can actually save whatever you have here, um, take screenshots of, of it, uh, kind of do whatever you need to do. So. Um, that's a quick demo. I hope you enjoyed it. Let me know if you have any questions.